Hello, um, welcome to uh, another tutorial um, uh, in this channel on Python for uh, Programmers. Uh, what I'm doing here is something very simple. I'm using a Python script that will call um, a utility, an application, um, that is specialized in extracting from image files, from photo files, uh, all the extra information, all the metadata, such as the geometry of the image, the um, the location where the image was was taken, the GPS information, um, what kind of camera was used for to taking the image, the date, and so on. So there's a lot of information stored in images, um, JPEG, for example, or raw, raw files, and that utility EXIF tool will take that and display it. Uh, so now, today we're writing a Python program around this, and a Python script is going to call the utility gather all the lines that are generated, and then we will select only the lines that are, that are of interest to us. And today, I'm going to simply filter the output and extract the length that contains the width and the height of the photo, and from that, you can use the script um, the way you want. So, um, this is not a Python tutorial. I'm not teaching Python. I'm assuming that you either know Python or you're not necessarily interested in learning Python, you don't want to spend the time, but you prefer to understand the code, you have some lo good logic and intuition for programming and you want to understand enough of the code to modify it. So if you can uh, identify a particular problem that you have as a photographer and you can understand my code, hopefully you can modify it and adapt it, run it, and then solve the problem that you, you have. So that's my goal here. It's really to help you enough so that you can be self-sufficient. All right, so um, right now I have my code that I will look at very sh soon, but I want to show you how the code works um, in my terminal window. So this window here is a terminal window. Um, you can take a look at what is there. And I'm going to play with two files. So I have two image files. Here's the first one, DSC08262. ARW, that's the raw format used by Sony, and the JPEG version of that is this. And it's a typical file, I really haven't done much with it. Uh, I can open it just for fun. We'll open the JPEG, and so that's the file I'm going to be working with, and extract the metadata from this file. All right, um, so let's use EXIF tool, which I've already installed. So. I'm assuming that you will be able to do that on your own. And we're going to extract information from the JPEG file. So a lot of stuff was generated. A lot of lines here containing a lot of information. So that's the EXIF uh, information. And um, somewhere in there, there's a width. Somewhere in there, there's a height. And actually, several different versions of it. And we're going to try to um, figure it out. So what is important here so let me clear that, is how I call it. I need, on the terminal, on the command line, I need the name of the application, and I need the name of the file. We'll look later at how you can use actually several files or run through a series of folders and, and apply that to all the, the images we find there. All right, um, actually, let's do one more thing. I'm gonna grab for width. So grep is a utility that filters um, out lines. So here, that vertical bar, if you're not familiar with that, is a pipe. So I'm taking the output of this command, which we've just looked at, all these lines, and I'm sending them, the vertical bar is a pipe, I'm sending them to another application, which is grep, and grep is just a filter. I'm saying, show me only the lines that contain the word width. And so there's um, just one there, image width, 6,000. Uh, actually, if I apply that to the raw file, I should find actually more ARW. Yes, actually, for in the raw file, I have more information. I have the image width, Sony image width, Sony image width max, and EXIF image width. And they're all different. You see this 6048 and so on. Um, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll work with the raw file and we'll try to get just the one that I'm interested in is this one. So we'll take a look at how I can recognize that line in Python. And then we'll take the 6048, which are actually characters in the string, and we'll try to make that an integer. So if we have 6048 as an integer in a variable in Python, 
then I can use it to do arithmetic, for example, computing the aspect ratio of the image. All right, so let's move to Python. So here's my code. Uh, everything starting with a pound sign is a comment. So the first thing I'm going to do in my code is to import the library that allows me to call um, outside applications from my script. The um, exif tool location, so exif tool is the command, but I also need to tell the Python code where that is located on my disk, and it's in slash user slash local slash bin. If you, on a Mac, if you're not sure where commands are, you can ask the which command to tell you, okay, which exif tool, and it's going to tell me, well, it's in user local bin exif tool. So now I have that, I can save it here, and it's easier to just have one variable name with the, the whole string. And the file path, the image that I'm going to be processing, it's Let's use the raw ARW. It's dsc0862.arw, the file we were just looking at. Okay, so I have two variables containing the command and the file that I want to work with. So now I'm creating two variable width and height that will eventually contain the width and height of that particular image. Right now they're set to zero. Just a way of, of making sure I remember that I have these variables to set. And these three lines here will actually run the command so see this part here, I'm passing to subprocess.popen. I'm passing the command and I'm passing the file name of the image. And then these two other lines simply say that um, I want to capture the output. And if there are some errors that are also output by, you know, if for some reason it doesn't find the file, I want these error lines that are usually sent separately, even though they look the same on the, on the, term, in the terminal window. I want them to be merged with the output lines. So that's what that does. So normally you wouldn't have to really change any of this, or if you do, maybe the file path, right, where you may want to pass a different file name for the command to be executed. Then here, I'm grabbing all the lines generated by the command exif tool, and I'm putting that into output. So output now is gonna be a list of lines, and the lines will be all the lines that were generated. All these lines here individually will be saved as strings inside a list and that's output. And so now all I need to do is to just go line by line in this output variable and display all of them. So that's what is being done here. So these lines here for line in output, typical for loop in, in Python, I'm cleaning up lines, so I'm decoding it in case it has like special characters with accents. I'm, I'm removing them, and the strip allows me to remove any extra blank spaces at the beginning or the end of the line, including return characters. So I want to kind of have a very clean string with no extra uh, white space, and then I'm printing it. So this will display everything that I had seen before. So let's run it. So function F5 on the Mac. We are run my script. By the way, I'm using idle, which is a standard standard editor for Python. Um, if you install Python, likely you'll have idle, and you see all these lines coming out. So much slower than in a terminal window. Uh, Python is not as fast, and this particular output window is not as fast as well as Python, but I have everything that I had seen before. So now what I need to do is, instead of displaying all these lines, I want to display only the lines that contain the width. So this is how I'm going to do that. So moving back here, if line find width is not equal to minus one, minus one means that it wouldn't find the word width. So if, it, if it's different from minus one, it means that it has found it somewhere, then I'm going to print the line. All right, so let's run this. All right, it's now displaying just the four lines that contain um, what I want. And the one, let's assume that the one that I'm interested in is this one, image width. So where, so I'm going to say I'm going to search for image width. Let's see if I search for image width, uh, it will also display this one and that one and that one. So I want to find only the line that contains image width where that particular string is at the very beginning of the line. And the very beginning would be at character zero. 
So if line find image width is equal and in Python equality between two quantities is equal equal. So if this is equal to zero, then print the line. Otherwise don't do anything. So the lines that are not printed are just thrown out or skipped. Alright, so now I see that I have only one output. So I was able to filter very quickly all these lines and we grabbed the one that I was interested in. Let's take the 6048 characters, these, and make that an integer. So what I want to do is that I need to split, and that's true of all the lines. See, they always have the parameter on the left, some space, um, then the, um, the colon, and then the quantity. So I need to split the line at the colon, and so it's going to give me two different parts. And the first one, which is the string image width, will be part 0. And the second one, 6048, will be part 1. So before we print the line here, I'm going to say, um, let's see, parts. I'm inventing um, a new um, list equals line split colon. Okay. And the part that I'm interested in is parts 1. So the width is going to be parts 1. And I want to strip it to remove, because there will be uh, this space that is here. I want to get rid of it. Um, and so by stripping it and getting rid of that, and now I, will, I should have only 6048 as characters. And in order to make this an integer 6048, then I need to transform all this into an int. So int is a standard function in Python. And it will take that string of four characters will make it an integer. So now I can print width equals width just to verify that I was able to find the quantity. So now I have width equals 6048. So that what is printed here now is a number. It's an integer. And I should be able to do arithmetic with it. So now that I have the width, I should use the same recipe for finding the height. So I'm going to be simply copying this here. So if line find image height equals zero, parts equals line split on the colon, the height is going to be equal to parts one dot strip because parts has been re-initialized with new parts. And I can say height equals height. Let's run this. Okay, so now um, my Python script is able to take one image file and find out its width and its height. And if I want to compute the uh, aspect ratio, let's do it now, for example, just to show what, how we would do that. Um, I could call it ratio equals one point the width divided by the height. The 1.0 is that the reason that I'm doing this is that I want to make sure that I get a, um, a real number, a number with a, a fractional part, with decimals. Um, in Python, you have to be careful if you're dividing an integer by another integer. For example, 3 divided by 2 would be 1. It would not be 1.5. So by multiplying everything by 1.0 at first, which is a real number with a decimal part, then the whole result will be decimal. And now I can print. Um, that. So maybe I will. So I will compute this after the loop once I'm done. Once I am sure that I have computed the, the width and height, and I can print the ratio. I can say print ratio equals ratio. All right. Let's end this. Okay. The ratio is one point five. So the, the aspect ratio of that is one point five zero and. Um, then we can process that the way we want. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to do in this script, give you enough information for how to do that. In other scripts, then um, we'll be able to put a loop around this and, and walk through uh, many folders, hundreds, thousands of photos that you may have. And then the photos that have a particular aspect ratio or whatever um, parameter you're interested in, you should be able to extract that. And then we can gather some statistics about that. So I hope it helps. And I'll see you in another video.